This is a show about the American entrepreneur, the dreamers, the believers, the achievers. We discover those making a better life for others through a better business. That's what it means to be in Multiviews Good Company. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Down in Port Charlotte, Florida, however, Galaxy Multi-Rides has figured out how to have plenty of both. I never invented the mechanical bowl, but what I did do is reinvent it to be the safe, versatile product that it is today. We're, we're a family business. Um, at some point or other, every single one of my siblings has been involved in the business. Robin and his wife Kate had five kids and started renting out bounce houses for children's events as another source of income. They all had to roll their sleeves up and, and, and pitch in, whether it was when we're trying to deflate a, a bouncy castle and you're trying to get the air out and with something simple as telling all the kids to run on it and roll on it to try to get, expel the air out, something as simple as that. We sort of had a light bulb moment. Well, you can actually charge a lot more money to entertain adults than you can children. So once we got to about 15, 20 inflatables, it was time to start thinking about something else. So I started looking around for other things. They asked me if they could, if I could get them a mechanical bowl. And he came back with a training bowl, which was huge. It was a nightmare. It would take six men to physically lift it, two to three hours to set it up and break it down. We made good money, but it was, every time we took it out, it wasn't something that we looked forward to. So I set about making my own. And that's how this unique drive system came about, a smaller, lighter weight unit that could be set up by one person if necessary. He made it purely for our own little company that we had, so that a couple of guys could operate it. He was doing an event down in London, and a guy asked him, I, I need one of those, where did you get it? I made it myself, he said. Will you make me one? No. Will you make me six? Mm, maybe. So he became my first distributor, and by now, it become a true multi-ride. So we got into manufacturing by default, and there we were. I was always concerned with the, uh, the controllability of a hydraulic system, because we either got very fast or very slow, and not much in between. So that's when I decided to explore and develop our electric system. And once we got that right, uh, which is the basis of what we see today, uh, that enable us to move forward with lots of different innovations. With her newly designed electric motors and drive system, the multi-ride possibilities became practically endless. All they needed was someone to seize the idea. I came out of university with my design degree and didn't really know what I wanted to do. Kind of got dragged into the business unwillingly. He's very creative and very talented, and I knew that would become invaluable. It's probably the best decision I made, because here we are, we've, uh, we've grown the, the company. You know, we'll bounce ideas off each other, and I'll come up with something, and then he'll expand on it. We have this strange chemistry, which is obviously a father-son thing that's developed. The relationship between Robin and Mike allows them to create some really unique and revolutionary games. Most of the time, each new game starts as a mere drawing on a napkin or scrap paper. The drawings are then transferred to a computer-aided design program, where a digital blueprint describes to each of Galaxy's three shops what needs to be built. So once we've gone from this stage of this is how we want it to look, that's when the kind of fun starts and I've got to start thinking of every minute measurement and reason for why a piece of material is the shape that it is or where it is. After Mike breaks down the model, the inflatable diagram goes out to Kate, where she cuts out large vinyl pieces on a computer numerical control, or CNC table. This role reversal for mom and son isn't lost on Kate. Working with my son, mm, it's a strange one. When he was small, I told him what to do. And now the roles are reversed. And technically speaking, I'm suddenly my mother's boss. When did Mike start telling me what to do? When, when did I start taking instruction from him? But it's fine, it, it, it's fine. She doesn't have to work. She chooses to work, she enjoys it because it helps the family and it helps the business. She works in the, on the shop floor. 
When Kate finishes cutting the vinyl sheets, it moves on to the seamstresses, where each piece is sewn according to Mike's original diagram. Sewing the bed, it's kind of like a puzzle and trying to fit all the pieces together. Then when they match up, we're good to go. When the job is done and it's blown up, it looks great and then I see people jumping on the inflatable and it's just pretty amazing. Simultaneously, the steel shop mechanics build the heart of the multi-ride. Robin's proprietary base and dual motor system produces spin, pitch, and yaw for all of the rides and mimics the natural movements of a real bull. If you ever look at an animal and you, you, you get anything on its back, it doesn't just jump backwards and forwards, it actually shakes itself. In the body shop, hand-carved molds are used to create the endless attachments. First, a pigmented gel coat is sprayed onto the mold, followed by three layers of epoxied fiberglass that harden overnight before it can be removed. The idea, of course, is to get the top off first. The body is then painted, or in this case, a real cowhide is glued and riveted into place. The better hides do come from South America, Argentina, Colombia, Brazil. So we always pick the best ones uh, to go with the rest of the product. I'm gonna install the uh, kill switch. Um, when somebody falls off the bull, they pull away a safety mechanism not allowing the bull to work anymore. Pretty much all our bulls are marketed on their safety, so, you know, that's a very important part. The head of the ride is created with a soft Sofalex, a patented expanding foam which protects the rider from injuries. All of these, again, are made from soft material. Safety, 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 safety is first. Lastly, the control is built and all the electronics are connected. This area has all the buttons on, the clocks, everything, so when you're operating the actual ride, the, con the operator will stand there. Everything's very clearly displayed. You can see all the different names for each different speed and control. With a new ride completed, setting up and testing is essential, and the employees at Galaxy Multi-Ride make sure to be very thorough. As a, as a family working together, the process is, is really smooth. And I couldn't wish for anything more. And the reason we like our job as well is, Robin always says, he doesn't look at coming to work as a job. It's just a way of life. It's just what he does. One of the main reasons that we've been doing this for 23 years and our, and our name is as good standing that it is, is partly down to our quality. We will spend the extra money on the better quality parts, the more difficult process if it needs to happen, and then that way we ensure our quality and durability. We're always approachable, we always give people the best advice we can, whether they be a first setup company or a customer that we've had for a long time. I remember having a conversation with my dad 10 years ago, thinking, how many more mechanical bulls can we sell? And now with the new introduction of these action games that we're creating, I can just see that growing into becoming a staple of our side of the leisure industry. Robin and Mike have created a whole new line of inflatable games, still using the multi-ride base, but now creating competitive action games similar to the ones we'd see on TV. I think we're getting to a level in technology that our competitors just can't possibly match what we do. We're always wanting to put out the best game that we possibly can and the best looking products that anybody does. While the Wind Cup family continues to revolutionize their industry, our crew rides on to explore what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur here on Good Company. <laughs>